Hey everybody, Jason Corbin here, and I wanted to give you a quick overview of the Church Center app. The Church Center app is our mobile application that keeps you connected with everything that's going on uh, at Genesis. It's a really useful tool to have on your phone, and I just wanted to do a quick overview of that. If you don't have your Church Center app uh, on your phone, you'll see that in that little icon in the lower right-hand uh, corner of my screen that says Church Center. You can go to the Apple Store, um, the Marketplace, and do a search for Church Center, or you can even go to uh, Google Play if you have an Android phone. You can do a, a search for Church Center and just download that, install that. It's a really simple process. Um, if you don't have it yet and you need help installing it, I'm going to do another video uh, that actually shows you how to do that, so stay tuned. for. I uh, just wanted to give you a quick overview of the app. So if I click on Church Center and drill down into that, you're going to come to what we call our homepage. And the homepage is just a little bit of information about uh, some important information of like maybe events that are coming up right there on the top, a little bit about Genesis. So if you're new, it just tells uh, our guests a little bit about who we are. Uh, I've also put some important links here. Like for example, we have some baptisms coming up on Easter. So if you haven't been baptized and you wanna register for that, you can click on that and that brings you right to a form. Uh, or maybe you've never served on a team and you're really wanting to uh, just get connected to a team and start serving on Sundays, uh, you can actually join a team uh, right directly from here. And then there's just some basic information about how to contact us, service times, and even links to uh, get directions uh, to Genesis if you're planning on visiting. Uh, some basic information about this screen, you'll see in the upper right-hand corner, there's a bell. That is your notifications menu. And if you click on that, you'll just get um, some information about uh, any updates that are coming from the app, notifications, maybe these are messages coming from groups that you're a part of, that's all right there. The other thing that you'll see in the upper right hand corner is a little picture of me and my wife, and that's our profile, uh, my profile specifically. I have another video on actually how to set up your profile and update information, so I'm not gonna click on the Jason Corbin link there, but if you do that, you'll see all the information about yourself and, and how to update that. You can watch that other video to learn how to do that. Uh, but there's a bunch of other uh, settings here that you can look at. You have my giving, and if I click on that, that brings me to a screen where I can set up all my payment methods. So I'm gonna do a, another video on actually a more detailed view of how to set up giving, um, but that's gonna, walk through how to uh, set up a credit card, how to set up a bank account. And then once you do that, it's really easy to set up one time or recurring uh, gifts or donations through uh, the Church Center app. And I'll show you a little bit about that later. You can look at things like your recurring donations. When was the last time you made a donation, your donation history. And if you click on statements, you can even uh, look at your previous year's uh, giving statement. So if you're wondering uh, where that is, uh, you can always go here to actually find that. So really useful tools to have uh, at your fingertips. Uh, you can even do things like make sure that we're uh, communicating with you on the right uh, email address. So if you have multiple emails in your profile, uh, you're going to want to make sure that we're sending our emails to the right place so that you're getting the most up-to-date communications from us. Uh, you can also find out which events uh, you're registered for. Uh, really easily by clicking on uh, the My Registrations. You can also see the groups that you are signed up for as well. And I'm going to talk about groups a little bit more in a minute. Uh, there's some other information here on your account screen, your household and all of the profiles associated with uh, your account, as well as just some basic setup information, like if you'd like the dark theme or the light theme here that you can configure uh, if you so choose. The bulk of the capabilities in this app is down below in this menu uh, screen on the bottom. You see the home screen, which we're on, the give screen, the group screen, the events um, screen or menu, and more. And I wanna walk through those real quickly. Um, we already talked about giving a little bit, but if I click on give, this brings you to a screen where you can actually uh, put in an amount uh, that you wanna give. Uh, now, you want to think about whether or not this is a single uh, one-time donation or if this is a recurring gift based on uh, what it's going to be whatever you uh, put in here. And then you click on Next. 
And then this brings you to a screen where you have some options on how you want to give. Uh, and those options are, the first one is a fund. So our general fund, uh, which you see here, is really just our operational budget. So if you want to give to uh, Genesis, um, that covers like all of our ministries uh, from hospitality to um, our benevolence fund to everything that we do uh, at Genesis is really the general fund. And we have a couple other funds that are more for longer term um, plans that we have. We'd love to have a new building someday uh, where we can have larger uh, kids space, classrooms, and just uh, a larger building to serve our community. And then also, as everybody knows, we're really excited to be planting churches. Uh, and so if you wanted to give specifically to our church planting fund, uh, you can do that here as well. So just some options for giving. And again, you can set this up for a specific frequency as well. Uh, so maybe you would just want to give one time, or maybe you want to give on a recurring basis, weekly or monthly or whatever that might be. Uh, you can set that up um, on this screen. And then you can also choose your payment method. So whether you've chosen a bank account or uh, a credit card, you can select your payment method here. Uh, and then another little important option that you have is you can choose to include your processing fee, which basically means you're adding a little bit to your donation uh, to make sure that um, Genesis doesn't get charged the processing fee uh, for your donation. So if that's something you'd like to do, uh, that really helps us out a lot, um, especially at the end of the year, those add up, but um, that's just an option that you have uh, when you're giving. And then once you're done setting all that up, you click next and that goes and it sets up uh, whatever type of donation you set up. So again, just really easy um, to uh, give uh, to uh, your local church uh, through uh, this capability here on the Church Center app. The next menu on the bottom there is groups. So if I click on groups, uh, this shows me all of the groups that I am uh, I am a part of right now. And if I wanted to, I could easily uh, click on one of these groups. Uh, I could even message uh, everybody who's in my group by using the message feature here, which is a really nice feature if you want to stay connected with your group and just um, let your, your, uh, your group know how you've been encouraged or maybe you have an encouragement for them or just how you're praying for them. Uh, you can see your group's schedule here as well. Um, resources <clears throat> on the top there as well as uh, who's in your group. So a lot of information in here uh, about your group. Now, if you are not in a group and you want to find a group, the Church Into app is a great place for that as well. Uh, I can click on find a group here under groups, and that shows me all of the groups that are configured um, on Church Center app that I can go and actually join. And there's a bunch of information here about each individual group. So if I click on uh, Garrett and Tim's group here called Wakefield Men, I can see that it's open. I can also see when it meets from 7 to 8.30 uh, p.m. And if I click on that, uh, there's a bunch of information there about the group, when it meets, what days, what city, uh, etc. And then uh, each leader puts in a description about their group. Uh, and that's just a great way to get to understand the leaders and their heart uh, for their people in their group. Uh, what's really cool about this um, app is maybe I'm, I'm new to Genesis and I just want to ask one of these leaders a question because uh, sometimes it's just, um, you know, it can be a little nervous going and visiting a group uh, for the first time. So if I wanted to just email uh, Tim and Garrett, I could message them and ask them some questions about the group just to get some clarifications on some things and maybe even get to know them uh, a little bit. But then once I'm ready uh, to join a group, which I'm sure you will be, you can easily just click on that join button that automatically uh, connects you to that group. Uh, and one of the leaders uh, will reach out and follow up with you uh, about getting connected. So that's a really great, great way to discover our groups. Um, to connect with leaders, as well as um, to join a specific group. Now, if you want to find out what's going on at Genesis, uh, we're trying to do a much better job of making sure that our events are all up to date. And so you can click on events and you can see all of the upcoming meetings, services, and events that we have going on. And what's nice about the Church Center app is I can click on any one of these I get a little bit more information about each one of these events 
And then if I'd like to register, I can click on that register button in the lower right hand corner and just go ahead and register an RSVP. Uh, quick note, as we are um, RSVPing for Sunday services right now and we have limited seating, I highly encourage you to get the Church Center app and um, RSVP ahead uh, for any of our Sunday services. So again, really easy way to discover all of the events that we have coming up. Maybe you want to get connected to a chapter one or a chapter two, which is our discipleship pipeline, or maybe it's just you want to um, sign up for one of our Sunday services. Really easy to do from the Church Center app. Now, uh, moving along to the right in the lower menu, you'll see a more button. So I'm going to click on the more button and here's a bunch more options of some things I can do in the Church Center app. Uh, the first one that you see is check-in and I'm not going to click on that right now, but what that does is if I am registered for any events and I want to actually check in ahead of time or when I show up um, at the church for that event, I can click on check-in. I can check in for that event and that what that's going to do is give me a little barcode on my phone. And so when I go in and I talk to the check-in person, I can just show them my phone. They can just scan the code and that automatically uh, checks me in so that they don't have to uh, look my name up and find me. So it just makes the, the check-in process for events, especially a Sunday service, just much faster uh, and easier. So I encourage you to take advantage of that. Uh, the other option is calendar, which I did just click on. And that's just a nice view of all of those events that I showed you a minute ago, just can kind of a calendar view and which ones are available um, to sign up for. So that's a nice view. And then um, just uh, to wrap it all up, if you want to go directly to our website, you can click on our website from there. That just brings you into genesisthejourney.com. Or maybe you're interested in Teams. If you click on Teams, that's going to bring you directly to our Teams uh, website just to learn more about uh, the different teams that we have and the opportunities uh, for serving. So that is the Church Center app in a nutshell. It's a great app to keep you connected to what is going on at Genesis, to give, to get connected into groups, to check out the events that are going on, uh, and also some really useful tools uh, to learn about what's on our calendar uh, and to check into uh, the events that you're coming to uh, here at Genesis. So again, thanks for checking this video out. If you have any questions about the Church Center app, feel free to reach out to me, Jason at j.corbin at genesiswoburn.com. Thank you for watching this video. Have an awesome day and peace out.